guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a workout split video i'm going to talk about my current workout split what i'm doing day to day and all of that stuff um a few of you have been asking for me to do this video and i'm not sure if i have done this in the past uh with this routine i'm not completely sure but but if i have it's been a long time, so we're going to do another one. Before I go into my workout split, I just want to say that this is not something I do every single week. This is like an optimal week for me. This is what I want my week to look like. But as every other person, life happens, stuff happens, and I'm not able to do this every single week. I always just do the best I can and that is good enough and you should also think like that if you do not get in all your workouts that you want to do uh, throughout the week it's okay you can just start with clean sheets next week and nothing is ruined so i just want to emphasize that this is not a normal workout week for me this is the ideal workout week and it varies so what is really important when you're going to work out is to plan your workouts I uh, personally think that is extremely important because when you plan out what you're going to do it's much easier to get it done when you are at the gym. So I always write up what I'm going to do that day and then I follow that routine so that I don't have to think about it when I'm at the gym. I just do whatever it says on my program. It is so important, it's really beneficial for you. And if you are from Norway and you're watching this video, I am an online coach and I can help you if this is something you're struggling with. If you're struggling with planning your workouts, I'm happy to help you if you want me to. My current workout split is a two-way split. I have three lower body days and I have two upper body days. I always start out my first workout of the week, whether it is on a Monday or if it is on a Wednesday, I always start out with legs. Legs are always the first thing I start out with and it usually is on Monday because I have so much uh, motivation to go to the gym on Mondays. So yeah, Mondays are usually uh, legs. And when I do legs on Monday, I always focus on glutes. I really want to grow my glutes, so that is where my focus is at. I do a lot of stiff deadlifts. I also do a lot of sumo deadlifts. I really like those type of deadlifts. I do one type of split squat, either Bulgarian split squats or walking split squats usually with dumbbells because that is what i like the most i also always put in uh, hip thrusts on my glute days that is a must for me i love hip thrusts i think it is one of the greatest way to build your glutes so i always have that one i start out with these compound movements compound movements are movements where you um, target more than one muscle group at a time uh, so I always start out with that. I start out with the heavy lifting and the big movements. Uh, after that, I go to isolation movements. And on Mondays, when I'm focusing on glutes, I usually do um, leg curls and kickbacks. These are my go-to. I also do uh, some kind of uh, uh, abduction exercise, whether just with bands or in a machine or with a cable. So that is my Monday. On Tuesday, I have upper body day. On my first upper body day, I usually uh, focus on my, my back, my bicep and my shoulders. So I always do pull-ups. I really want to be able to do pull-ups, more pull-ups than I can right now. So I always do pull-ups when I work my upper body. Um, I do it with bands, I do negative pull-ups, I do pull-ups without anything. Other than that, I like hammer curls, I like normal biceps curls, Arnold press, around the world, uh, shoulder press. Also for back, I like seated rows, I think that is a great exercise. I like pull-downs and I like standing rows. So this is what I do on Tuesday. Uh, when we come to Wednesday, I usually have a rest day. So on my rest day, I can go for a walk. Uh, and if I do not choose to go on a walk, 
I literally just to take a whole day off just to work and relax and recover. Moving on, we're on to Thursday. On Thursdays, we're back to legs, but this time we do not focus on glutes, we, we focus on quads and calves. On uh, Thursdays, I usually do some kind of squat variation, either just a barbell squat, I can do dumbbell squats, uh, jumping squats, yeah, whatever, some kind of squats. I also like to do uh, hack squats and I can also do a type of uh, walking lunge when I focus on uh, quads. I just take smaller steps to have more focus on my quads and use my quads when I go up from the lunge or the split squat, wherever, whatever you want to call it. And then I move over to um, leg extensions. Leg extensions are always with me when I'm focusing on quads. And other than that, I just do what I like the rest of the workout. Moving on to Friday, we are back to upper body. Here we focus on chest and triceps, but I also put in some exercises for back because I really want to uh, grow my back so I always put that in even if I just have one or two exercises I always put in um, some back exercises for growth so this day I usually put in um, incline um, bench press I really like that exercise with dumbbells I also do push-ups I like to do push-ups because I can do a lot of them and I think that's really fun so I always include push-ups I think it is important to do things you like, so having exercises like that, push-ups um, that I think are really fun, I always put in uh, to have fun when I work out. I also do a triceps overhead extensions, I do some uh, exercises for triceps in cables, and I also do pull-ups here because I want my back to grow. And yeah, it varies a little bit, but that is like the exercises that I usually put in in the program. And then we have the last day of working out, which either is on Saturday or on Sunday. I usually work out on Saturday because if I go out on a Saturday, I feel completely dead on Sunday. And if I then thought that, okay, I can work out on Sunday, it usually do not happen. So I try to work out on Saturdays when I can, but usually Saturdays are really packed, but try to work out on Saturdays. So on Saturdays we have the last leg day and on the last leg day I do whatever I feel like. So here we train both glutes, quads, hamstrings, calves, everything. So here I do a variation of hip thrusts because I think it is important and I want to grow my glutes. I usually do a type of deadlifts. I do one form of lunges and then I just do whatever I feel like after that. So that is my workout split. Um, I also do handstand work. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been working on my handstands and also the last video was about my handstand progress. Um, I usually uh, work on my handstand every single workout before I do legs or upper body. And it depends how much time I spend working on my handstand, but usually it is about half an hour before I go work out and it's just so much fun. I really, really, really enjoy my handstand journey. I just think it's so much fun. So I do that before almost every single workout, unless I'm really, really tired, then I skip it. But yeah, I usually do that before every workout. And, and right now I also want to be able to do the splits. I mean, I've tried a lot, a lot, a lot of times but I'm not giving up. And this time I really want to be able to do it. So after my lower body days, I usually stretch. So I think it is great to do it on lower body days because um, your body is already warm. And I really think that helped me get into a split faster. Uh, so I just do a couple of exercises and try to get down to a split basically. It takes me about 10 minutes. Oh, and I forgot to say the last uh, rest day I have is a complete rest day. I'm not going to do anything that day because your body needs it, your body needs to relax, your body needs to recover. So yeah, I want that day to be like all calm. Just me being, existing. Yeah. Oh so yeah, that is my workout split at the moment. I really enjoy it. I enjoy being able to work out 
five days a week. I like to stay a little bit longer at the gym when I first work out than to go seven days a week. I really need those two days a week to recover and to just relax and be me because workout is a part of my life. It is not my whole life. I control my workouts. My workouts do not control me. So yeah, it is important to relax for me and it, and it really helps me to keep my motivation up and to go to the gym and be better. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know what you want me to film next. Hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!